Hello everyone, I'm Akif and we're doing a second video on constrained application protocol. In the previous video we discussed about why there was a need to bring up GoApp uh, when there were already existing application protocols like HTTP. We also discussed about uh, why GoApp is not a complete replacement for uh, HTTP. GoApp in itself is a clean IoT protocol uh, and uh, they both can go hand in hand. We also discussed about some of the uh, messages and the message structure of the co-app. Uh, we also discussed some co-app uh, examples. Now today we'll be performing some uh, Kuja simulations uh, related to co-app. Uh, for that you need to enter into this uh, quantity operating system, get into the terminal and press some commands. So these are the commands that you have to type cd contiki tools kuja and then press and type another command and run wait for some time till this compila compilation ends And as it ends, the Kuja window will show up. Now to get started, you have to give some name to this file. File new simulation. Give some name to it like Coap1. Create. Press on create. So this environment will appear and press on modes, add modes, create mode, sky mode, or press on browse when, once this window appears. And you have to go into this folder called uh, examples. In the examples, there's IPv6. In IPv6, we have to choose RPL border router. And here you have to choose this folder. In this folder, RPL border router, you have to choose this file called uh, border router C. Open it, press on the compile wait for some time till it finishes press on create let's choose one so there is this mode in the network window uh, let's make it much more clear press on view then more IDs uh, addresses this will give us IPv6 addresses radio traffic which helps us to show this flow of traffic then grid uh, mode type helps us to differentiate between various modes radio environment it gives us an idea about the radio range if now if you click on it it will show its radio range this green colored circle is the radio range now this is the RPL border router. Now we have to bring up some other modes. Now press on add modes, create mode, sky mode. Now again you have to go to the example folder. In the example folder, er rest example. Uh, and then choose this file called erexample.c. Press on open, compile it. And press on create. Now let's choose three modes, add modes. So this is how it helps us to distinguish between various modes. Uh, the border router is green colored while the rest are uh, yellow colored. So let's keep uh, two in the range of uh, 
1 and 3 in the range of 2 then 4 in the range of 3 we have to then press on uh, the border router right click on it more tool for the sky choose the serial uh, socket server now before we start start the compilation we need to uh, connect the border router for that first you need to press start here on the serial socket server once it's done go to the terminal again you have to open a new window press on cd you have to type the cd quantity it's basically the folder where we have this rpl border router cd quantity examples ipv6 ipv6 and finally RPL border router press on enter once you did now you have to connect it for that you have to type this command which is called uh, make connect router Kuja. so it will ask for password and the default password of Kondigi is user so press uh, type that U S E R. now you have to again go back into the Kuja window press start so the compilation will begin the simulation will get started and you can look at the screen how the traffic is flowing between the border router and rest of the modes uh, now you have to go back to the uh, terminal you can see the IP address of the border router you can copy that copy it and we know the scheme of the uh, co-app is just like HTTP we have co-app colon backslash we have co slash slash then you have you can uh, paste the address here which we copied from the terminal uh, it's the address of RPL border router so you can see it here now once you enter this you can look at the mode the various methods like get post put and delete all these modes and the information related to the uh, mode you can fiddle with that that's how you access the resources using uh, these uh, methods uh, so that was all for today thanks and have a nice day